<laughs> anyway, I'm getting off the track. I mean, I could stand here for 20 hours and just do it. It's incredible. What a ride. Oh, they haven't done it already. <laughs> I haven't even started. Pope, me piss off. Anyway, a vision of Billy's long way to the top was shared by Amanda Pillman and I and all the acts that came out there. And that, again, I believe sparked another whole thing in Australian rock. Just like when I was lucky enough to be the poster boy at Consolidated Rock in Melbourne and watched Billy the Aztecs and Michael Browning plan and meticulously, with Michael Godinsky's odd yelled advice, planned and meticulously took Australian rock and roll to another place. The, the, the Sunbury and what it meant and what it did. Out the front, you had 30,000 people yelling out, suck more piss. And backstage was like a hippie festival five years ago. It was amazing. Um, pub Rock, the White Horse Hotel in Nunawading, the Village Green. Billy's getting paid a fee. The pubs are making thousands on the bars. And Billy said, that's it. From now on, I want the door. Billy Thorpe started the door deal. I'm totally f confused here, but I'm getting there. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the emails, when we put them into books, are gonna be only as high as Mount Kosciuszko, bro. The messages have been amazing. And I just wanna read a couple of things that were sent by a couple of people that he loves so much. And uh, the first one is from Mundawoy Yunipingu, who Jack and you know, Lee and uh, me and my young children and Bill and Lynn went to the Gama Festival up in the Gulf Carpenteria. And I mean, Jack got signed up as an elder and got tattooed. My young son was taken out into the bush and laid in a, a, a charcoal uh, old fire and painted up and then danced behind this six foot Aboriginal dancer. It was incredible. And Billy and Mundawoy just fell in love. They made an amazing thing called Oh My Country, which unfortunately got lost in the Olympic and the Paralympic thing. But when I came home from Atlanta with Yossi Indy, I was determined to make sure that the Sydney Paralympics were the first sold out, opening, closing, and everybody, like Billy, Brian, Jack, everybody joined in. And I just want to read what Munda Woy has to say. Torpy came along at the right time, with the right attitude. In the rock and roll world, he made it possible for people to understand what rock and roll stood for, and also to understand what Indigenous Australians stood for and needed. When Torpy came to the Gama Festival, he loved it and what it stood for, and he always supported every move Yolan Gu needed to make towards positive change. He was a good bloke with a good heart and a good mind. Yothi Indy will miss him. Billy said to me, he was up in Gove recording and he came home and he said to me, Chuggy, we needed some, we, this song needed a sweet choir. And he said, Munda Woy, we need a sweet choir. And Munda Woy went, don't worry, Torby, we'll get it together. Two hours later, he came back with these three young Aboriginal, Aboriginal children 
with holes in their clothes and a bit of snot here and there. <laughs> Billy told them what to do. And Billy said, Chuggy, you got no idea. First, first run through, it was like angels. And Billy just, he just loved everybody. He loved new things. He loved everything. And of course, I'm not sure, but the love affair between Angry Anderson and Billy Thorpe was amazing. I'm not sure if Billy loved Angry because he was shorter than him <laughs> or whatever. But Angry, who's in Germany, has sent this beautiful poem. The rooms of our morning are darker now that the light has gone from your face, but the heavens will shine more brightly as another star heads homeward to find its resting place. Billy Thorpe, from the day I met him, always was good to me. When I was in the middle of self-doubt and a few million bucks in debt now and then, and was leaving my great friend and partner after 25 years, I was filled with self-doubt and self-belief. And I've got to tell you, he just rode my ass like you wouldn't believe. Chuggy, you're better than them all. You're one of the best in the world. Fuck them. Get on with it. <laughs> Ed Payne, 